Welcome back, so happy to see you again and after three months of waiting I was finally invited to try out Tana which is a note-taking app that everyone is hyped for and I have to say I'm extremely impressed myself of what it can do despite being in an early access stage. So I now tested out how good Tana is for the more effortless style note-taking that I prefer and found seven benefits but also four drawbacks for Tana in its current stage and by the end of this video I'll give you my honest conclusion of whether this is a perfect note-taking app for you. Let's start with benefit number one which is the today page. When you open the website you get to today's note. From there you can make nodes or bullet points which are their equivalent notes. And you can click on each node and it becomes its own page plus the backlinks and all that stuff from some kind of hierarchical structure let's call it that. I'm personally a big fan of daily notes because you can put anything there. It's my dumping place for whatever piece of information I don't know where it belongs to but still don't want to forget it. And Tarn also has a calendar view where you can go back and forth and even annotate things for future dates which is especially useful if you want to use it as a task manager too. The second benefit is super tags which is one core feature. On the surface they act like normal tags so you can create on the fly and then view every note that contains a tag but with super tags you can also attach things like templates that automatically pops up as soon as you add a specific tag. For example, if I add a tag to do, I can get a checklist on particular items I want related to it, like subtasks, overview, all that kind of stuff. Here's where it gets interesting with benefit number three, which is different views. If we take the today page as an example, you can click right here and choose to view all the nodes as either a Kanban board or a table. And if you're a Notion user, you might be familiar with these views. And this is one of the major reasons why I use Notion in the first place. And according to some users, it seems like Tana could replace Notion as well as Rome, but we'll once again evaluate that in the end. Now, benefit number four is something I really like a lot which is quick note. Here in Tana you can make progress on one note and then immediately add another piece of information to your today view without needing to go back. So in a way it becomes like an app that you can use without having to switch between other apps which is something I particularly in favor of. So I can definitely see it replace all four of my current note-taking apps at some point. Then we have benefit number five which is fast retrieval and the search bar is right here all the time and it's extremely fast and I know I previously said that other note-taking apps are super fast as well but this one definitely sits on top I have to admit. Tana even goes one step further and has a live search. You can set multiple parameters to make some kind of an advanced search which can be great if you want to find specific notes without scrolling too much. My prediction is that live search will be more valuable if you have many notes like for instance over 5,000 or something. But until then no more search should be sufficient. Then you also have a favorite bar right here on the left where you can simply drop down nodes by dragging them up so you get your favorites too. And when it comes to linking they call it referencing instead. You link by pressing the at sign and not the square brackets as with other programs but aside from that it links as usual and you can check the backlinks afterwards. Benefit number six is collaborating and they are very big when it comes to collaboration one of the core priorities and as a standard you have your personal workspace but you can also create other workspaces and invite others. Once you have a shared workspace they can only see nodes and tags that are shared but if you have a node in your personal workspace that you want them to see but not the rest of your nodes you can move this node to shared workspace as well. Last but not least, benefit number seven, it's free. And that's all right now when you manage to get off the wait list for me, it took three months, it's all for free. Of course, aside from the seven benefits mentioned, there are also some drawbacks. But as I show them, keep in mind that Tana is still in its early stage, so it might and hopefully will change in the next few months. Let's start with the first drawback, which is computer only. There are no iOS or Android apps, which personally is a deal breaker for me who use my phone very often for work like riding on the bus and so forth. And as long as I cannot access Tana easily there, I have no reason to switch from the 
or other note taking apps they use. And also on the computer, you cannot work offline, so it's not local per se. You can only use it as a Chrome app. So if you prefer to use that instead of lots of tabs, so sort of switch between those, you can make it work. But other than that, this is the only option. The second drawback is that it's not a writing app. What do I mean by that? As you can see here, there are only bullet points and not normal blocks. And while it has its advantages, it's much harder to use it as a writing app. It looks more like a list or an outline than a particular script or essay. And especially here, every single paragraph creates a new note or a new bullet point. So if I start to write the script here, I might accidentally create 15 new notes if I have 15 paragraphs, so usually I'm more, which would definitely mess up my search. Maybe that's why they implemented advanced search. I don't know. <laughs> I see two solutions to this. One of them, if Tana implemented a way to make a line break without an extra bullet point, let's say if like shift enter, or the other like reflect, create backspace, and then the bullet point disappear. And I guess we need to wait for that one more to happen. The third drawback is it's limited formatting, which honestly is quite weird. You cannot make headlines unless you go into a specific node and that becomes a headline. And it does not support markdown right now, but you can bold text, you can italic text, but apparently not underline, although they claim that you can do so, you cannot do strike through, you cannot highlight. So progressive summarization is not the best to do it here, which underscores my point again of Tana not being the best writing app. And then we have the fourth and final drawback, which is steeper learning curve. As you probably see, it's not as simple and intuitive as, for example, Apple Notes or Google Keep. But the developer team promises that once you learn how it works, you will never look back. And I can totally see why, as we'll talk about next. So is Tana the best note-taking app for effortless note-taking? I would say overall, I'm very impressed and I totally get the hype around this app. And aside from replacing normal task managers, it's a beautiful way to store your knowledge and label it with super tags and that templates and all that stuff. I especially like the quick notes and today view because then you can really make it frictionless there. But once again, it's not a mobile at the moment. It's not the best writing app and the formatting is still quite uh, limited or weird because of that. But fortunately, Tana is still very early early in the development and I am no doubt that they will solve these as they progress. So if you're a person who are more on the computer than your phone, like to keep things organized without needing extra effort, maybe want a free alternative to Rome, plus being off the three month wait list, Tana is definitely the app for you. But for everyone else, you can wait until they release their beta apps and I'll make a follow up video to this one. As always, I'm interested to see what you thought about it. Do you happen to use Tana and what are your thoughts and if not, are you interested in trying now? Until then, whether you use Tana or not, always remember that you're the most amazing human being alive.